Welcome to Daily Success. Listen in on these personal conversations with today's leaders, innovators, and influencers as they discuss daily success principles, systems, and solutions. Get ready for daily success. Now, here's your host. Hi, everyone. This is Tammy Patzer, and I'm excited to introduce today's Daily Success Word of the Day guest, Tina Kadish. Tina is a freedom strategist, lifestyle, and money coach, and through Life is Ideal, Tina empowers professional women and entrepreneurs to achieve the clarity and focus to become happier, wealthier, and healthier in order to live the life you love. Tina is also a certified money power coach and her website is lifeisideal.com. So let's get right in to today's daily success word of the day, freedom. Tina, tell me what is your definition of freedom? So my thank you, Tammy, for this opportunity. I am so excited to share with you uh, about freedom. Freedom to me means being, being able to do what you love to do with whomever you want to do it and, and waking up every day excited and loving, really having the passion to do what you want to do. And so when you look at the definition, it's really about not being controlled, not being limited to what you want to do. And it's really having that the freedom to do whatever you want. So freedom to me has always been a core value of mine is that too many of us are stuck in doing jobs that we don't love to do. And that was my my experience. And the reason why it's such a core value to me is because I was stuck in a job for many years and didn't like what I was doing. And I didn't feel free. I felt like a hostage, to be honest with you, and being controlled by a company And so when I got laid off from the corporate America in 2003, I felt free that I could now embark on a journey to really learn how can I be free to love what I do. There's over 80% of working Americans that are not doing what they love to do. They're not excited. They're not passionate about what they do. And so freedom to me has been a core value for many years and so I now you know, embarked on a business as a freedom strategist. That's where my title comes from, is that I help women, entrepreneurs primarily, professional women as well, like myself when I was in corporate America, to find freedom. And so I want to help women to really loving what they do and not being controlled and being fulfilled and having joy and releasing themselves into the world and sharing their zone of brilliance to the outside world. So that's really, to me, what freedom is. I find that so interesting because freedom, I think, is on the – if you talk to an entrepreneur or someone who is in a Uh (laughs) J-O-B, you – Often you'll ask them, well, what is important to you? And freedom is one of the top things that people list as being of importance. But for so many people, like you just said, 80% of people are in jobs they do not love. And I remember, I mean, I drove up and down the freeway for 34 years until I managed to finally slip those bonds and I can't honestly say that I went willingly because I was afraid. I had a lot of fear about all the what ifs. What if I can't earn enough money? What if I lose this? You know, how am I going to take care of my family if I do become an entrepreneur and do that? So what would you say when you work with people is their number one fear and how do you work with them so that they understand what freedom can do for their entire life? Okay, good. So one of the first things I do is I help them to discover 
who they are, their, their passions, what do they love to do? So I have a tool that I work with them and that gives them the clarity and the focus of what they want to even do. Because some of us, we don't even know what we want to do. And that was my experience. I embarked on a journey to really discover what is my passion? What, what does that mean to me? What do I want to do? How can I be free if I don't even know what I want to do? So a lot of times women are stuck in not knowing. They just have no clarity. And so I help women get the clarity that they need to really get started. And limiting beliefs is huge. Fear is the number one reason um, that people just don't do, don't get out of their jobs and embark on something they love to do is because they're afraid, afraid of everything, fear of the unknown. And they think that the job is security, but you said it, you said in 2003, (laughs) You got laid off. Talk a little bit about that with people, because I know right now there are people listening to us have this conversation, Mm -hmm. and they're saying, oh, my God, if only I could have the courage to leave this situation. What would you say to them about how to take that leap of faith that they can do it? And I know you said that you have a tool that helps them to understand their passions, but how do you work with people to get rid of those limiting beliefs about being afraid to, to jump? I know that, that to, to be honest, I started working towards freedom, but when it came right down to it, the only reason why I let go of the job in the end was because they let me go. <laughs> and, and it was terrifying but at the same time in the the next 30 days because I laid my foundation I tripled my income okay and then I never looked back so how do you work with people to overcome those limiting beliefs well we go back to there's a um we go back to their beliefs and like they're going back to their childhood experiences their adulthood experience because sometimes a lot of our fears come from our experiences how we're raised our experiences in general. And so we really dig deep in getting to their experiences. Why do they have this fear? Where where did this come from? For me, fear has always come from scarcity, always having the mindset. And it begins with the mindset, by the way. It really begins here. You know, where do you see yourself? Why do you feel this way? What is your vision for yourself? You know, why have you, because everything we do today has been because of all the decisions, the actions that we took in our past. So I really go back to their childhood, their adulthood, and really talk to them about why they have this belief, where this come from. And a lot of it is their mindset. It's, you know, for me, like I said, it came from scarcity, how I was raised. I was always raised that money was never enough. Money's the root of all evil. So I came from a worrying mentality uh, that's how I was raised. So I go back to their childhood. I go back to how they were, uh, their experiences, their upbringing, their experiences with their jobs, their experiences with their family upbringing. And a lot of it is their childhood. What I have learned is the reason why they're where they are today is of their experiences they've had. So I get deep into some of their experiences they've had. And you know, I have tools for that as well to really, I call it the deep test. Okay, and it really we go deep into their experiences, and really a lot of it is how they feel about themselves, their self worth. They just don't feel good about themselves. They have a low self esteem. They don't feel they're capable of doing it, and so they get comfortable. A lot of it we get comfortable in our jobs, the security, and so you become complacent, and you just go day after day, day after day, and you make a good point, Tammy. It's because they let you go. And even myself, if I wasn't laid off, would I have still been there? Probably. And I was commuting an hour and a half each way that I was like not living life. My life was my job. And I was a single mom with two kids at the time. And I did not like it at all. But I didn't leave it. I stayed and I stayed and I stayed. So I was blessed, to be honest with you, that I got laid off. And I even had a smile on my face when they let me go. And they even said, I've never seen a smiling face when we've let somebody go. I said, because I know that there is something out there for me. Another door will open. I just don't know what it is. 
So my mindset, it began with my mindset that I said, okay, this is not going to define me by being laid off. I didn't go off the deep end. I didn't like crash. And, and I did feel rejected. I'll be honest with you. I felt rejected. I felt hurt. But when I got through that, I started to take action and really figure things out. And, I, and that's what I help women is let's figure this out. How can we take action? What is your mindset? You know, what are your beliefs? And so I work with women to figure that out. And the clarity they get are things like, wow, I never knew that I wanted to do this. Because for me, I didn't realize I wanted to be a full-time entrepreneur, helping other women, sharing the message of freedom, sharing the message of being an entrepreneur, and, and really loving what they do. It's really about being passionate about what you do. And that's what I really want to help women is to get that clarity that they need. And so I just, you know, freedom to me, you know, I even created an acronym for freedom, which, you know, I'm going to share and I'm going to write a book about it because I think that women need to know how can they find freedom in their life? Because it's not an easy task. It really isn't. And it's a work in progress. So for for the listeners out there, this is not going to happen overnight. (laughs) <laughs> at all. Well, it, it does not happen overnight because, for example, I can look back at my entire life and my attempts at becoming self-employed or an entrepreneur. I, one time I was in my 20s and I got myself a printing press. I was going to be a printer and I did that for a while and then it was like, oh, I've got to go get a job. And mm-hmm. so I did that and then Another time I was doing a lot of public relations work and, uh uh-oh, I better go get a job. Even (laughs) in the last couple of years, I've been um, a consultant in publishing and doing things in it. There was a moment in time where I almost, well, let's say I tried to get a job, but they wouldn't hire me because they were afraid that I would want to take the clients and because I'd been an independent consultant. And yeah. so they didn't hire me because they thought, oh, she'll probably just come in and do this work and take the clients away. And I'm like, well, no, I wouldn't if I was working for you because that wouldn't be ethical, number exactly. one. But of course, I was thankful now, uh, very grateful that they rejected me and that they saw that I really was someone who had that kind of clout in their mind, Mm -hmm. you know, that they were worried that I would be such a strong personality. So Mm -hmm. the freedom, you're going to write a book about this. Can you share your acronym with us? Yes. And that would be a great um, opportunity for people to get a taste of what's going to come so that they can decide, hey, I really want to work with Tina. That'd be really cool. Thank you. So freedom for me. Okay. So the F is faith. And so for me, having the faith in yourself that you can do whatever you want to do. Okay. And I'm a spiritual person. So the first word that came on to to me was faith because it begins with having the faith in yourself. The R is release, releasing it, being out there and saying, okay, I can do this. I'm going to do it. I know I can. And I will. So the R is really the releasing. The first E is having, evaluating it. So it's really evaluate. Evaluate like, where am I? What, can, what will I do with my life? It's kind of like going deep and, and thinking about, let me evaluate, what will I do? The other E is energy. Having the energy to do it and being excited because if you don't have the energy, no one's going to come to you. Okay. Um, the D is determination is you're determined that you're going to do this, whatever, whatever you're going to do, that action you're going to take that path you want to take, but being determined that you're going to do it and, and really just consistently doing it. Okay. The O is optimistic. Being optimistic. Having that, again, being optimistic, that mindset that we, we, we talked about is really being optimistic that you're going to do this. I'm going to be free. I can do this. Um, so that's the O. The M is the mindset. So I'm ending it with mindset. That it's really, it begins with the mindset, ends with the mindset. It's the mindset. 
And so I ended with that. So what I'm going to do is, of course, with this book, I haven't figured out the title yet. I'm going to, (laughs) you know, but like, I want to have like a catchy title that will really, you know, grab someone's attention. And so I'm going to, you know, think about that, but I'm really going to have a chapter on each, you know, letter of the word. I'm going to start it with first the definition, what is freedom, how my story, how I embarked on this. And I never thought that I'd be an author, but it spoke to me. And I said, you know, when I share about, I want to share the message. I think more and more people need to read about it and say, okay, what is freedom? And maybe I can get freedom too. Now, here's another thing I want to share. Just be, I'm not saying that everybody needs to be an entrepreneur because you can be passionate with your job, yeah. loving what you do every day, because not everybody can be an entrepreneur. Entrepreneur is work. Not that you're not working in your job, but it's not for everybody. So you can be free even in your job, but it's finding your passion within your job. What is it that you're doing? And really following that and not doing the job just because of the money. We're all motivated by money sometimes. Some of us are. I used to be more motivated by money. Now it's not. Um, and you know, it's interesting. I didn't use the M for money in my freedom. I used the mindset because I was thinking about money, but I am not, I didn't want to do that. I wanted to really focus on the mindset because I help my clients with mindset. That's one of the modules that I cover in one of my coaching programs. I have a whole module on mindset. So it really does begin with that and end with that. So that's my interesting because I actually did an interview with Arlene Krantz and we focused on money and what you said about mindset is that absolutely directly related to money because we discuss money as a tool it is. Of, of helping you to get where you're going and she also talked a lot about limiting beliefs and mindset And one of the things that I noticed in a lot of courses um, and trainings and coaching and everything, mindset is like the number one thing that people need to work on. But a lot of people kind of like go, oh, that mindset stuff, whatever. But the truth is, if you're not clear and focused and open to receiving and that is your mindset it, nothing's going to happen because you will just keep giving up and i like the fact that you pointed out that that um, having freedom does not necessarily mean that you have to be an entrepreneur but it does mean being passionate and loving what you do because i know a lot of people who are doing really good work in a corporate or a business setting and of course they're making a salary or something but they're making huge huge differences Mm -hmm. in the world and we do need that we need the mix we do Uh, we do we do absolutely the entrepreneur and and the and the worker so tell me if somebody wants to work with you um how can they connect with you Okay. So I'm on, I have a website. My website is www.lifeisideal.com. I have a free offer on my website. You can sign up for my emails. I have a seven steps to living a life with freedom that I offer everyone. I um, also have a Facebook business page, Life is Ideal. So you can connect with me there. My email is tkadishcoach at gmail.com. But the, um, Really, those are places I'm on Instagram, I'm on Twitter, but go to my website and you can see all my videos that I have, all of the different information on my programs. I offer 30 minute discovery calls with everybody that to really help you to figure out, is this something you want to embark on? Is this for you? And and then we'll go from there. But I uh, look forward to connecting with you and helping you to live a life with freedom. And let's, let's work together and figure this out and get that clarity and focus that we all want and make this world a better place uh, for all of us. I I love that. It's funny because uh, I have a cat named Clarity. Oh God. (laughs) Because I found that Clarity was very, very important. And I also have a cat named Focus. Oh my God. (laughs) So 
as you can tell, because I chose those to be names for a cat, it, if I'm calling my cats, it's clarity, 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 oh my God. focus, focus, focus. And it's funny, <laughs> but it really does help to remind you of something that is so important mm -hmm. in your life that if you can get clear and that you can be focused, think about what you can accomplish. And I think that's so important. So when people work with you, you do, you can start with that 30 minute discovery call. And I know that in 30 minutes, you can get a lot accomplished yes. in 30 minutes. Um, and then your other programs are, are they typically done in a zoom or Skype environment? Yes, they are. Or I also do workshops, you know, in person workshops. So yeah, most of my business is via zoom. And uh, so that's really has worked well because so I can reach more people and, you know, I live in Connecticut. So locally I can do workshops for people that are local, but I love the zoom. I do group coaching. I do one-on-one -on -one coaching. I do vision board workshops, you know, because at the beginning of the year, I do this a lot. It's creating that vision for your, for yourself. So I do those pretty much local in person, but we can do vision board workshops even via zoom. Mm -hmm. I haven't done a zoom yet for a vision board because it's that would be fun. It's funny that you bring up a vision board because I can attest to how powerful images are. The other day, somebody po posted a photograph of Mykonos. It showed this beautiful blue water, white buildings with the blue tops. And I, I just looked at that. And I said, I'd like to go there. That's all I did. And, and I thought it was pretty, and I put a love on the post and then went about my day. A couple hours later, I get a phone call. It's my friend saying, hey, Tammy, my brother-in-law's from Greece. How would you like to go to Greece with me in early September? And I want to go to Mykonos. <laughs> and I'm like, I, I'm like on the phone going, are you kidding me? I yeah. literally had just seen a photograph of this. And again, Greece is not anything that I thought about. I just saw the photograph and said, wow, how beautiful is that? I would like to go there. That yeah. is amazing. Because you put it out there in the universe. You just let it go. You put it out there. And it's very powerful. You know, vision, you know, visuals is very powerful. And I think that's a really good example of when you get clear and focus and allow and that freedom to come into your life. Because like you said, I really like your definition of freedom. And I really am looking forward to the book because I think that, you know, even though M is at the end, it yes. does start with the mindset and again, the money part of it, you know, you, you could have M, 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 freedom. That's true. <laughs> because obviously mindset, money, we have to be optimistic and we have to have faith. And I think that is important that you have to believe that you have the power to get everything and that the universe is good and that there's plenty. Exactly. I get rid of that scarcity mindset because everything that you've said, it just really triggered all of those things in my mind about, about issues that, you know, we all seem to deal with, um, especially when it comes to feeling there's not enough yes. when in fact there's more than enough and there always will be. Um, and each one of us can have whatever it is that we choose. And I think that's to me, it would be freedom. It's like to know, you know, how freeing is that to know that you can create the life you want. And that's exactly what you do, Tina, is help people to like hone into it and figure out exactly, well, what is my passion? Right. You know, how do I live my passion on a day to day basis? And so that's what I think is so exciting about what you do. So tell everybody again where they can um, go to your website and get in contact with you. Okay, good. Yes. Yeah. So my website is www.lifeisideal.com. So check me out there. 
and you'll see a lot of good videos that I've done on various topics um, that I do because I do do a lot of videos on Facebook. So you'll see all my videos there and you'll get information on my coaching programs uh, as well and learn more about it. And Great. So it's right for you. Great. Thank you so much. So Tina, I appreciate it so much. Thank you for visiting with me today on Daily Success Word of the Day. And today's word is freedom. Thank you, Tammy, for the opportunity. I really enjoyed having this conversation. Me too. Again, everyone, Tammy Patzer, Daily Success, Word of the Day. You've been listening to Daily Success. Tune in again and subscribe. Never miss a moment of Daily Success.